Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Friday the 17th. Uh, just a couple quick things. I'm not going to go through a full lecture or anything like that. As I said yesterday, just some um, it's weird. Uh, some reminders of some things and some uh, materials to share with you. Uh, first of all, I'm sure you heard the announcement yesterday that uh, they we're not going, we're not coming back. Um, I haven't heard anything regarding the process uh, moving forward with that. Um, you know, there'll be more announcements to come. So uh, unfortunately, um, we're not going to see each other uh, in school. Um, I didn't really think it was going to happen, but I was hoping. Uh, that we would uh, be able to get back together again, um, but our our task is still clear. We have a test on May thirteenth that uh, I think we're prepared. We're set up pretty well to uh, to do well. So um, I was thinking, you know, let's not uh, throw it away at this point. Not that you know, I, I was like I said yesterday. I was very impressed with your. Um, 40 in your 20 questions. So I, I told the principal yesterday, you guys made my day. So uh, keep that up. Um, if, you, if those of you that need to do some revisions to your 40 in your 20 questions, you've seen very good examples of what you should do. Uh, so that's my expectation going forward. You'll hear some more stuff regarding school. You know, I'm sure I'll be on five different calls today dealing with that. So more information to come. Um, I will be sent in, in Schoology, I will be sharing a link with you that has uh, Mrs. Hernandez put together a whole bunch of information regarding the test. Uh, so she's trying to categorize all that stuff. That, there'll be a link uh, to our website, to the high school website uh, for that. Uh, regarding uh, AP Euro stuff, uh, I just, I'm throwing some stuff in what I'm going to be calling a review folder. Um, review, you know, your distance review. Um, I don't think it's it's uh, necessarily necessary to go through the stuff uh, right now, but um, I do want to uh, to show you one thing. I, I blatantly stole these from um, the AP review sites, um, and I thought this was pretty good. It's, I just did screenshots of this whole presentation, but this is a pretty good overview of the Renaissance. Uh, I particularly wanted to point out this slide. Um, I forget who, who was contextualizing the Renaissance yesterday, uh, but they, she, she did a great job. And this is another way to do it. One of the things that you could talk about in terms of the Renaissance is, of course, the issue of the Black Death um, and the depopulation and, and, and that kind of thing. So. Um, this was just a good slide, and there's a number of presentations here, a number of uh, really good PowerPoint basic that highlights a lot of stuff. So when you're doing your rescue packet uh, starting next week, this might be a good spot uh, to go to to get some terms and, and uh, to have a nice resource. Um, related to that um, is something that I think I've mentioned, but... Um, just want to give it to you as another tool uh, is something called GeoSprite. Um, I think we might have talked about this very, very early in the year, uh, but GeoSprite stands for Geographical, Social, Political, Religious, Intellectual, Technological, and Economic. Um, this is a way to help you contextualize a question. So um, my suggestion to you is, is this is just to have a um, if you can print this out or jot this down on a sheet of paper, just to remind you of what is appropriate for contextualization. What happens before or what causes the events that you're going to be talking about. And if you're at a loss, well, you can go geography, you can go social things, you can do political things. So it's just a, it's a device to help you um, get thinking about possibilities of discussion points for um, contextualization. So that's just a, a tool. Um, you know, print it off, write it out, uh, whatever your call is for there. And this last one is uh, from, from my friend, uh, Mr. Kniesel in Winston-Salem. This is written for APUSH, but it totally applies to us. And 
uh, he gives this to his students um, as a checklist uh, when doing the DBQ. So this is this is really good. Uh, it's sort of a a, a modified rubric. Uh, it's been modified for the five um, for the five document question. Um, and again, I would recommend that you have this nearby. Just you don't have to fill it out. You don't. You know, it's just uh, you know if you if you follow the process, your chances of success are that much higher. And this is an easy way to follow the process. So, uh, and he teaches just like we, we do. In the opening paragraph, you have contextualization. At the end, you have thesis. These are the documents. Are you describing the documents? Are you supporting the documents? With, are you using the documents to support your thesis? He uses happy. I'm sorry, I should, I'll change that before uh, I send it to you. Are you capping uh, this? My, I'm sorry, I should have fixed that first. Um, and um, conclusion, restate thesis, complex understanding. He does it a little bit differently than we do it, but it's still the same thing. It's, it's I think it's really good. Uh, and again, it's it's designed to, to, to kind of minimize uh, the moving parts on test day. You know, you have one task. Well, you have several tasks, but one task is to write the best essay possible. And the less you have to be shuffling around and digging through papers, the better. It's right there. Or you have it posted up in your room or somewhere where you can see it right away, and, and off you go. So uh, that's all I have for uh, today. Remember, we're meeting uh, again on Monday uh, with Zoom. Uh, next week, I will be sharing out uh, I have a couple uh, specific review activities I'm going to want you to do, one on art history uh, and then the big rescue packet. Um, so, and then maybe there might be some daily things just to, you know, keep things fresh, make some connections, that kind of stuff. So, uh, I am going to grade those. I think that would, that would be fair. Um, uh, and I'm basically going to grade on completion because I want you to use it. I don't want you, I don't want to punish you, but I want, I want you to have the, you know, the Goldilocks principle, just enough resources to help you, um, get a good score on this test so um so remember uh this will be in, in obviously you get this in schoology uh take a look at the link uh that mrs hernandez said regarding ap testing um these are things that should just be sort of in your file that you can print off or have access to relatively easily uh, more information is going to come out about how the end of the year is going um other than that, that's about all I have for today. So uh, stay well. Um, enjoy the weekend. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit warmer. Um, again, if you have to make revisions to the 40 and the 20 questions, please do so. Uh, we've, we've, we've gotten off to a great start with that, and I certainly want to continue that. So all the best. Uh, take care.